guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget you guys. Audrey's Reading Area. You know what to do. Go to YouTube. Smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. Love you guys, and I miss you so much. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And don't forget to like and share my videos too. So don't forget, smash that subscribe button and share. So smash it and share it. All right. So I'm sure you have a little idea of what I'll be reading today on this terrific t-shirt. Woo! T-shirt Thursday. T-shirt Thursday. Ale Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. L-I-V-E. Live at 8. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin, Mixed Up Magic. Mixed Up Magic. This book was adapted by Barbara Basold Basoldua, illustrated by Jose Cardona. Cardona. And here is the spelling, just in case I pronounced it wrong. So just forgive me if I pronounce these words incorrectly. Aladdin, mixed up magic. And you can see my magic wand, my Aladdin, and my fill-in, because I don't have the correct Aladdin action figure. So he's my fill-in, okay? Got my magic carpet right here. Magic carpet, <laughs> right, all right, all right go out of my way for you guys just for you so let's jump right into this book Disney's Aladdin mixed up magic one day Genie took his friend Aladdin and the monkey Abu on a magic carpet ride to a quiet spot in the desert Genie wanted to try out his new magic wand He wanted to try out his new magic wand. My cosmic powers are a lot less cosmic since you freed me, Genie told Aladdin. I hope this trick stick gives him a kick. <laughs> Genie waved the wand at Abu. Scrabble dabble you, Genie yelled. With a poof. Unhappy Abu turned into an elephant. It works, Jeannie shouted happily. Ooh, aren't you the cutest little patchyderm? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy my reading. Jeannie practiced many different tricks, including turning Abu back into a monkey. Then the friends climbed back on the carpet and started home. They had flown only a few miles when a terrible sandstorm blew up. The carpet swayed and tilted in the howling wind. Jeannie, do something, Aladdin cried. Sorry, Al, these sands are out of my hands, Jeannie said as the carpet began to fall. Oh boy. Thud. <laughs> the carpet crashed into the sand and everyone tumbled off. As the three friends picked themselves up, two men ran toward them from a nearby oasis. How do you do, said the shorter man. I am Sheik Ali Babo, and this is my servant. Welcome to my home. The sheik led his visitors into a tent that was plain and dull. He offered them drab pillows to sit on. Please have something to eat, said the sheik as his servant brought into a, in a plate of dates. It's boring food, but nothing is interesting here. Boring food. If you're hungry and it's edible, I'm just saying. Jeannie felt sorry for the sheik. 
How about I brighten things up around here, he said. With a wave of the new wand and a quick scrabble-dabble, you, the sheik's... <laughs> the sheik's plain tent and pillows turned bright and cheery. His drab old clothes were as colorful as jewels. Then Jeannie pointed the wand at the dull dates. In a flash, there was a handsome bowl of tasty fruits. Look at that. After that, Jeannie used the wand to make fireworks. The tent sparkled with stars. This is the best day of my, my life, the sheiks cried. Just then Aladdin looked outside. The sandstorm was over. Thank you for your kindness, Aladdin said. But we must leave now. Please don't go, begged the sheik. You must stay. Snatching the wand from Genie, Sheik Ali Babu cried, I'll make you stay. Scrabble, dabble you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Suddenly, Genie was trapped inside a large glass bottle. Now you'll have to stay and entertain me, the Sheik said, laughing. Wow, what a way to thank somebody that helped you, huh? Aladdin tried to grab the wand from the sheik. Scrabble dabble you, shouted the sheik, pointing the wand at Aladdin. Zap! Suddenly Aladdin was crammed into a bottle of his own and couldn't get out. Only Abu escaped. Quickly he hid under a pillow. I have a genie and a wand, the sheik cried. Wait till I show my servant. We'll never be bored again. On his way out of the tent, the sheik suddenly stopped. I'd better hide the wand, he thought, and tucked it carefully into an empty sword case. Tucked it into an empty sword case. Hmm. Let's see. Genie, can you can you get us out? Aladdin called when the sheik was gone. Inside his bottle, Genie shrugged and shook his head. He pointed to the sword case. Just then, Abu peeked out from under a pillow. Abu, get the wand, cried Aladdin. The monkey scampered up the tent pole and found the wand. Abu, say the magic words, Aladdin yelled. Abu pointed the wand at Genie's bottle. He tried to speak, but all he could do was chatter like a monkey. And that made things worse. Genie's nose began to look like an elephant's trunk. Then he grew floppy ears and huge feet. He grew bigger and bigger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Then the bottle began to crack. Suddenly, crash! It exploded into a million pieces. Oh no, look at me, Jeannie Trump, trumpeted. You've turned me into a peanut-eating patchyderm. He is not happy. Abu, get me out of here, Aladdin yelled. I have to help Jeannie. Abu pointed the wand at Aladdin, but he still couldn't remember, couldn't say the magic words. Cheat, 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 he chattered. Suddenly, Aladdin turned into a tiny bird. At least I'm small enough to fly out of the bottle, Aladdin said in a high, chirping voice. Quick, let's go before the sheet comes back. Uh-oh. But it was too late. What's going on, the sheik shouted, surprised to see an elephant in his tent. We are out of here, Genie trumpeted as he rushed through the tent flap, knocking over the sheik and his servant. Aladdin and Abu hung on as Genie stormed out to the magic carpet. Wow.
Wow. Aladdin, Abu, and Genie all jumped on the magic carpet. Come back, the she cried, running toward them. Fly, carpet, Aladdin chirped. The carpet strained and strained, but it couldn't get off the ground. Abu, point the wand at Genie again, Aladdin tweeted loudly. I'll try to say the words right. Abu pointed the wand at Genie. Scrabble dabble you, Aladdin chirped. Instantly, Genie was himself again. Then he took the, the wand and changed Aladdin back to. With a whoosh, the carpet began to rise. Please come back, Sheik Ali Babel called. I won't put you in any more bottles. Would you believe him? Me either. <laughs> Me either. Jeannie felt sorry for the sheik. Before they left, he dropped the wand down to him. Thank you, the sheik called as he caught Jeannie's gift. Seconds later, fireworks exploded over the o oasis. Looks like the sheik's boring days are over, Aladdin said as the carpet headed home. But after this crazy afternoon, a boring day sounds great to me. The end. Wow. The end. Mixed up magic. <laughs> wow. Thanks so much for being here, you guys, and listening to me read fun and exciting books like this on this T-shirt Thursday. All right, all right, all right. We are done. Thank you, Mom, for always being here. Thank you to my friend Allison and my friend um, Deidre for always sharing my videos. Thank you guys so much. I really, really, I see it and I appreciate it. So shout out to everybody else who shares my videos too. Please do. Shout out to my friend Born. He clicks love on my videos every single day. So shout out to you, Born. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And I will see you soon. Thought I was going to forget to say live, L-I-V-E. Live today tomorrow here in Audrey's reading area. Audrey's reading area tomorrow. All right, you guys.